my name is Chris and welcome back to another exciting episode of Feed the Beast. Oh man, that suddenly. Okay, so, um, new recording session. Haven't recorded forever. Oh god, I'm very used to, uh, Terraria controls again. I've, been, I've played like probably 15 episodes worth of Terraria since I recorded this last. So, this warning you guys now. Might be a bit slow to start up again. Um,. I remember last time we finished making a generator and mace reader. Oh, we're crushing all this stuff still. I think I said maybe between episodes I'd crush all this. But I I no ain't nobody got time for that and stuff. Um I made a list of the stuff I should make after creating um a, a uh is this a, this is a mass reader. Okay, so I have on here an electrical Okay, well, we have what is this? A generator, right? Yes, it's a generator. Um, no, E for inventory. Oh, a drill. Was I going for this? That's cool that it saved that. That's neat. Mining drill. Okay, well, I mean, clearly the thing I'd probably need to go for first would be this. So, uh, probably going to need that one. Power unit. RE battery. Oh, God. Oh, electrical motor, um, coil, oh god, uh, uh, oh, I wish you could, like, go back a page or something, you know, okay, so I, copper cable, do I have copper cables, how do you make copper cables again, is it this, no, you need to make, like, plenty again, don't you, dang it, wait, there we go, so I, I need to surround an iron ingot, so, that's not enough. I need eight. Of course I need eight. <laughs> uh, is that it? There you go. Um, okay, not bad. I need an iron ingot. Do I have any more iron ingots? Is the real question. Yeah. Man, That just looks like a face to me, a granny face. I think I talked about that before. Oh, God. Do I even have any iron? Well, perhaps I should look in my iron ingot chest. That sounds like it would be a great idea. Now, wouldn't it? All right. So, blah, 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 blah. It wasn't iron, right? Hey, there we go. Hey, LMAO. Mamma mia. Um, right. Back here again. This is the thing that I don't know how the hell. Electrical motor. I think that's what I was trying to make. Oh, I need another one, though. Tin item casing. Okay. I wish you could go back. That that really bugs me that you can't like go back, you know? So hold on. I want okay, well I need to make another one of those. So we're gonna need more copper plating. No, I need to make these. But I'm gonna need more. I don't know if mining drill is something I even want to do. But uh we're gonna find out together. So we need another two to make eight in total. I hear I heard the moosics. I need not what? Oh there we go. I say, I don't remember having nothing in my inventory, but I, I totally did because I'm a stoop stoop. Now, do these stack is the real question of the day. We're just kind of making what I want to make now, I guess. I mean, it's cool to have a goal. Like, I have no idea if this is worth it or not, but uh, I guess we're going to find out together, right? <laughs> Two coils, iron, and tin item casing. Tin oh, man, we already have that. I didn't expect to have that, so I was concentrating on figuring out how to make that. Um, okay. Okay, I got the image in my mind. I got the image in my mind. I'm losing the image. I'm losing the image! Shit! Ah! I think it's this, right? Ah, and then this? No, it's the other way around, baby. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, ha. Ha, ha. Woo! All right. It's nice and stuff. All right, so we have one piece iron item casing. How do we make that? What? Wait. Oh, this is the stuff I used to. I, I used to craft with, I guess. I think. No, no, I already had that. Dang it. That. Then. Yeah, I don't remember how to make. The, okay. Oh, I just need iron. Okay, so I just need to use the hammer twice on iron, I think. 
Um, man, I keep like, <laughs> I should really just take, let's just take a stack, you know what? Or whatever, a pile of it. And then that, there, oh, well, whatever. I'm sure I'll need more eventually. I don't remember how to make that another hammer as well, so if that goes, I'm going to be in big doo-doo. Out of curiosity, actually, let's, how does, okay, oh, so I need to make a giant diamond tip to drill first. That's not, well, what's this, what's this, mate? Oh, God, this is a thing that I don't know how to make because it doesn't actually tell me, right? Yeah. It's like stuff like this. I don't understand how that works, but, um, what's my next step here? What's the thing? What is another thing I need? Electrical circuit, which I'm probably ha gonna have to figure out how to do again because I don't remember. Iron plate, redstone, insulated copper cable. Whoo! Okay! This kind of. I, can sh I should make like an actual laboratory or something, shouldn't I? Like a nice room but at the same time i feel like maybe eventually i'll get things that could mine out in large quantity so i could actually shape out a nice room you know all right do i have rubber i do i have two rubber i'm gonna need a tap i'm gonna need another tap i uh, i need wood for that i ah, see i'm kind of starting to remember how to do this oh we need wood don't we i really just need to go out and get a crap ton of wood that i could actually use not this stupid wood that you can't actually use Oh, here's some wood right here. I think I planted this these last time. Oh, what? Jeez, man. How'd you, where'd you come from? Quit, man. So I actually found out that there's no unique mobs in this. Which I find really lame. It's like, you would think that would be like one of the number one things you'd want to put in this game, right? But I also found out I could add uh, mods manually. I believe Hippo was the one first one to tell me that. I don't know if anyone else said that. I'm sorry if you told me that and I just, I didn't say your name. I'm so sorry. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm too young to die. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I'm going, I didn't add any, I want to add, I want to add more creatures or more creatures or whatever. I used to have that in my very first attempt at doing a modded series that lasted f three or four episodes, I think. Maybe even less than that. Maybe two episodes. I remember at least having like two or three episodes. But, um, so, I want to add that. I just, I don't really have time at the moment. This is actually the first time I've recorded since my uh, vehicle exploded. Um, if this is your first time hearing about that, <laughs> I was driving down the highway on a nice hot sunny day. The first hot sunny day of the year, actually. So, it's like, you know, I gotta go for a drive then. Driving along with my girlfriends uh, on a highway, some town like 40 minutes um, east of where I, the city I live in. And, um, going about, like, I don't know, 100 kilometers an hour, which is, which is around, like, 70 miles per hour, I believe. And, uh, all of a sudden I hear a little pop. And I think, uh-oh, did I run over something? Is my tire about to go flat? And I was a little bit worried about that. I mean, I'm, I could put on a spare tire, no problem, because, you know, I work at a tire place and all, and I'm very aware of that. But it's very annoying to do, especially when you're on your own and... It's very time-consuming and very annoying. But uh, anyways, so I was a kind of... I thought maybe I went over, like, a... I ran over something, and the pop I heard was my tire starting to go. So I'm waiting for my tire to see if, like, I start to, like, go down. Or if my tire starts to move or anything. Nothing's happening. So, like, oh, maybe I just ran over something. Like, you know, if you, like, ran over something, that would go pop. Like, let's say, like, a, wa a closed water bottle with air in it or something, you know? That kind of thing. So I thought maybe I just ran over that. So I'm thinking nothing of it, really. Whatever. <laughs> Five to ten seconds later, like seriously, from from the time the pop happened to around five five ten seconds later, I hear um oh I don't hear anything actually I see. I need to make another tapper. I need to make another nut tapper. I see fire start to shoot out of my hood, and it wasn't like a it wasn't like a meat like huge fireballs. It was like I don't know flames. I would say were maybe like three or four feet high. They start to shoot out the side of my hood. And I'm like uh oh. <laughs> So I slam on my brakes, which in retrospect, I should have probably looked behind me at first because I did not do that. I just immediately slammed my brakes, which I was actually going um, a little bit quicker than most traffic anyway. So I guess like uh, subconsciously, I wasn't really worried about it anyways, because like I said, I was, I was going a bit faster than the traffic and I, I hadn't passed a car in a little while. So I slammed on my brakes, um, stopped, my, or stopped my truck, uh, told my girlfriend, get out, it's burning. And meanwhile, she didn't know what the hell was going on because, like, she was just, she was, uh, taking pictures, at the time she was taking pictures, um, 
she's putting her uh, her phone through the uh, the window, taking pictures of uh, the the sunset through the like the side view mirror. And she's like, "What? What's going on? I'm like, there's fire!" She's like, "What?" And she starts like grabbing uh, a whole bunch or some of her stuff. She didn't. Okay, well we'll get that story. She grabs some stuff. I start grabbing everything I could think of, which I did forget a bunch of stuff. For those that watch my live stream, I don't remember how to make this tap. Oh, I had it. Oh. Uh, for those that watch my live streams, you'll see normally I'll wear like a sweater in it because I live in a basement and it's very cold all the time. That burned up. Um, I forgot it was in the back seat and I just didn't think to grab it. Um, oh no, there's some rubber up there. I want it in my belly. I put the gravel away, didn't I? Of course I did. What a stupid idiot I am. Gosh. So, uh, yeah, um, she forgot to grab her purse. I don't know how. She said it got there's a like there's the four by four lever on the ground of the truck. Um she said it got caught in that and then she was just freaking out, so she just said screw it. Okay, I don't think these grow back when there's no leaves, so that's good to know. Um so she left her purse in there, which thankfully didn't have very much in it. She lost like all her ID stuff, she lost like her bank card, I think, she lost her license. All stuff that's easily replaceable. The one thing that she was worried about losing was her uh um, she had, she had a, uh, an antique, an antique change purse that was crafted out of uh, a suit of armor used in the Middle Ages, which is really cool. It was like a chain mail, so it was like a loose uh, bottom, and then there's a little piece you flip off. And it, it's really cool, but thankfully that wasn't in there, so she didn't lose that either. And uh, I need to remember how to make rubber. How do you make rubber? Oh, I don't want to get rid of this. Drill. Um, rubber. How do we make rubber again? Rubber. Okay, we just gotta we just gotta burn it. I thought so. I wanna make sure before I waste the time. Drill. There we go. So um yeah, so we jump out of the truck, we start walking back, immediately an, a guy actually stops. The guy that was right behind us as we were driving, or not right behind us, but he was maybe like ten seconds behind us, if that. And uh yeah, he stops. He's like, Can I help you guys? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> And he's like, well, here, get away, because, or he asked me if I had any, how much gas I had, and then I said, I have a full tank. He's like, yeah, you should probably move away before it, it explodes. I'm like, yeah, it's probably a good idea. So we started backing away. Um, he actually, we got in his vehicle, he backed up, and he helped us out, and it was great. Maybe like 10 to 15 seconds later, the entire underhood of the truck was um, going up in flames. Um, and, uh, like, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe a minute later after this fire started, another guy drove up behind us, hit the brakes, jumps out, grabs a fire extinguisher, runs to the truck, and starts spraying with his fire extinguisher. I was like, yes! I mean, at this point, the truck is probably already a write-off anyways. Okay, I have the I have the engine, right? Or the motor, whatever. I always get mixed up between those words, engine and motor. And um, he starts spraying it. It actually did look like it went out at first, but no. <laughs> he ran out of juice really quickly, and he was unable to... Uh, he was unable to put it out. Wah, wah. So I just called 911. It seriously took like 10 minutes to get through 911. It's like, good God, if I was dying, man. If I was dying, I would be a very unhappy camper. Oh. What's it say? Copper cable and rubber. So I'm going to need... Okay, so I have a hammer still. Do I have more copper? i got to cook this, right? I think i got to cook this. Yes, I do. Okay, that's what I thought. Hopefully we get something like that cooks things quicker. I'm sure we do, right? I feel like that would be weird for them not to give us something that cooks things quicker. I don't know what I just did. There we go. Um, so yeah, I went up. got through to 911. It took forever. And then um, not, our fire department. Actually, I had just driven past an RCMP officer as well before this happened. I just, oh, I think that's the furnace, actually. Maybe not. I thought I heard a... Like, someone was, like, tapping on the window or something in the game. That's kind of spoopy. I'm going to close the door now. <laughs> um, I, oh, I put all my copper here, didn't I? Okay, that does make copper bars. That's cool. Wait, so can I just forever do this? You can. That's weird, man. Because it's kind of like, well, now I have infinite, infinite source of copper bars. That, that's very strange. Um, so yeah, RCMP officer actually got there like within 10 seconds because he was, I had just passed him. I guess he was looking for people speeding and actually I was kind of speeding a little bit. So, uh, 
Thankfully, he didn't catch me. Or thankfully, he didn't pull me over. However, maybe that would have saved the day. Ooh, I never thought about that. Maybe if he stopped me, I would have stopped the truck. And maybe it wouldn't. It, I mean, I didn't even really overheat. Cause what I think happened is I think like a, a fuel line or something popped off. So where the gasoline flows from the vehicle. And it probably sprayed on like, the engine or something. And since the engine was very hot, it probably just caught fire immediately. Eww. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait, so does this happen when I put it through a second time, maybe? Is that why? I don't, I don't remember what copper dust is. I think I had that before, though. I think I already experimented with that and found out, hey, you dummy, you can't just have infinite stuff. You dummy. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm very... <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, whole chuck burned down. Explosions happened. There was, uh, I think there was four or five explosions. Um, I didn't see the hood fly off, but when he walked up to it after, like, the fire was out, like, the hood was, like, maybe five feet away from the vehicle, so I guess that exploded off at some point. Um... Insulated. Okay, so all right. So I just need rubber. I don't know how many of these I need. I need at least six. Let's. I think it's twelve though, right? Um, yeah. And uh, both tire, both the front tires went. However, the back tires never went, which is interesting. Tires going. Those are pretty loud explosions. Um, I remember seeing the back window explode out. Uh, that was kind of cool. And I mean. Don't get me wrong, I'm really sad this happened. Oh, I only needed six of them? Dang it. Do I have redstone? That's something I do not know how much I have. Of. Oh, I have a whole stack. That is freaking fan dilly -tastic. Now, how did I, how do I make that again? I got distracted. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sad this happened, especially now. This was a horrible, horrible, horrible time to lose a vehicle. Because, hold on, actually, I gotta remember what this is before I forget. Okay, I got it. Uh, I, this is a really bad time for me to lose a vehicle because I'm supposed to move out. I'm going on a trip, actually, a business trip for two weeks on uh, Sunday the 15th, I think. And and I don't know if this episode is going to be out by then. So it might have been like a couple days ago or it might be a couple days after this episode. Whatever. And, um, okay, so we're actually, we're actually making pretty good progress here. And uh, right after I come back, I get a couple days off, and then I get I get an apartment. So I was excited to use my truck to move, <laughs> and now I can't move anymore. It's like what the heck, man. Um, no one I no one I know really has a truck anymore. I had a whole bunch of friends that had trucks, but they all got decided to get freaking. Well, that's not bad. They all ended up getting um, Jeeps instead, and I don't know why there was like a sudden Jeep movement in my friendship circle, but everyone just decided to start getting Jeeps, which I mean, I just wish they waited a bit longer. <laughs> I just wish my truck didn't explode. <laughs> so I um, I should be getting money back. It sucks too, because I had just gotten this truck in January, so I owe a lot of money on it. Um, I'm hoping through my insurance I get a lot of that back I hope I get most if not all of it back because if I don't I'm kind of screwed like for all I know because it, it was a second hand truck like someone already owned it before so for all I know I could uh still owe money after this is all said and done and still need a vehicle and I need a vehicle man I need it so at this point I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm pretty distressed over it but I mean it's like once again I can't really be too depressed about it because it's like well it's not like it's my fault as far as i'm aware um they, there's an investigator taking a look at it in the next couple days actually um and so they're gonna determine what it's worth um and what the how the fire started i hope i think the main purpose of them is to make sure i didn't light the fire or something or you know make it so i would get i'd screw the, the insurance company over and get a bunch of money from them or something uh but i hope they determine what the uh the reasoning behind the fires, because I would be really interested to know what that is. I need tin, tin ingots. Okay. I need to make a hammer in a second or two. That's going to suck. I don't know how many of these I need. I need three batteries. Let's do that. Uh, do I have my clippers? I do have my clippers. Let's do that. I don't know how many of those I need either. Poopy, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I need rubber. Oh, man, I need more rubber. I'm already out of rubber, man. I think I need six per battery, right? Uh, oh, I only need one per battery. Derp. Oh, I need ten, ten casing, though. I need four per battery. So I need four, eight, twelve casings. 
Wait. Oh, yeah. 4, 8, 12. I need 12 casings. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So that should be good there, considering how many of these I already... What? Wait. Oh, that was an iron casing. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, so yeah, that that's my story and how my truck exploded. I can't believe that took 20 minutes to explain. It sucks too because I just put like a full tank of gas in there. According to my dad, that was actually um, I think my hammer just broke, didn't it? Uh, forge hammer. Uh, according to my dad, I was actually like I thought it was a horrible thing. I just put gas in there, so I'm like, well, wouldn't that make it explode? But no, according to him, it's actually the fumes that make vehicles explode. So if it was uh like half empty or like mostly empty. It would have actually been way worse and would have, like, the entire thing would have been a huge explosion. So, um, I guess it was a good thing I put full tank in there. I mean, not so much money-wise because it cost, like, $80 or $85 or maybe $90. I don't remember. So, I just put $90 in this thing for absolutely nothing. I just literally took, like, almost a $100 bill, lit it on fire, and like, okay, bye! So, uh... Yeah, anyways, I don't know if we're going to do very much progress this episode towards building this drill. This is literally 20 minutes of me just staring at a crafting table. That's why I don't know how long this series is going to last, to be honest, because it's like, well, this is it, you guys. <laughs> I build something, I try it out, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Okay, time to start the next thing. And, um, yeah, so. But, you know, I was also very in-depthly telling my story of what the hell happened with my truck. So, uh. Yeah, everything sucks. It's very stressful because I gotta figure out a new vehicle, go on a business trip, and move all in the span of like three weeks. So that's gonna suck. But thank you all very much for watching this episode of Feed the Beast. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I heard you, Skellington. Where's my tooth key? There's my tooth key. Where'd he at? Where'd he at? Where'd he at? Hello? Whoa! Uh oh. Oh, that's a hat. Uh, Mr. Green Hippo actually also told me if I kill things with hats, yeah, I'm pressing the C button, but nothing's happening. Do I gotta, like, no. Okay, I thought maybe if I press the C button after getting it, it would wear it or something. I don't know how hats work. I don't know if I got craft them or I could just put them on. I'm sure I could just put them on or something. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!